Food Rescue Organization giving back to their community one plate at a time. New at 6, Jaya Brown talks with ICT Food Rescue about future plans to keep the community fed. Just that our community is coming together for us. ICT Food Rescue has been around since 2016. And we take food that's surplus in the community. We'll literally take it. And then we <laughs> donate that to organizations that feed the food insecure here in Wichita. Now taking its next step towards serving a bigger community. We're actually so excited about this space. In June of this year, we're going to be able to open what we're going to call the upcycle kitchen. So instead of just being able to take our food that we're getting from point A to point B, we're actually going to take that food and we're going to be able to repurpose it into meals. And this all wouldn't be possible without help. We have roughly about 16 or 17 receiving agencies and we have almost 15 donating agencies. ICT Food Rescue works alongside their donating agencies and their receiving agencies to make sure the people of the community are preserving food and giving back. Some are donating agencies like Baker's House. So we have our bagels that we give to them. I've also donated little sandwiches and stuff to their staff mm -hmm. and help them with a little bit of equipment here and there. And they usually come get them three times a week. While others are receiving okay, agencies. Nice. I've never had them bring me anything that we couldn't use. It's helped the recovered community, alcoholics, give them somewhere to call home. They have been wonderful. There's so many great volunteers. Um, I actually see them like once a day, <laughs> sometimes two or three times a day. And um, they save us anywhere between $3,000 and $5,000 a month. And in the end, it's all about the community coming together for a greater good. Jaya Brown, 12 News here or donate to ICT Food Rescue or you want more information you can go to ictfoodrescue.org to help send meals to the Wichita community. Ross